Hi. I wanted to talk a minute about healing through codependency. And this is such a tricky thing, especially because it's usually disguised as taking care of others. Um, a lot of things that I find when I'm talking to people, especially women, especially moms, who are feeling in this trap of, this is what I have to do and not loving it and then not feeling fulfilled when what they expect doesn't happen. So one of the ways that I like to teach reframing this, everything that we do to change our reality is about reframing our thoughts, reframing our feelings, and then reframing our words. The more that we can think into it or think not against it and then let a feeling arise, we are then feeling confident enough to speak a word. Have you ever like learned something new? Like for example, when I went to be a yoga teacher, it took me so long. I practiced yoga all by myself consistently for over a year. I went to school, I passed all of that. And I still didn't feel like I was ready to call myself a yoga teacher until I talked it through enough, until I played the part enough, until I finally said enough times, I teach yoga, I teach yoga. I am a yoga teacher. You know what I mean? We sort of can do that at an accelerated pace when we notice something in our world that doesn't feel good. One of the biggest things that we have come up against with codependency specifically is feeling disrespected by others, feeling mistreated, feeling used, feeling like second best or used, just like used, like not good. Um, and this can show up at work and especially like in dating or in entanglementing, which let's face it, usually it's entanglementing. One way that you can start shifting this energy, remember you need three days of de, what do we say? De-escalating the now. My now is people disrespect me and treat me horribly. So I walk around with this wound like, please be nice to me. Please say that I'm pretty. Please need me for something. Please call and invite me. Please let me get to come first. You know, it's so much. Instead of saying, people respect me, people speak kindly to me, people are happy to see me, people respect me and treat me in kind so that when I show up, I know how to treat them in a way that it feels mutually replenishing. Nobody leaves a situation feeling Mm, icky. Everyone feels good when we hang out. All the people that hang out with me feel good when we hang out. People that hang out with me treat me good and we all feel good together. And when we're done, we all feel good at the end of the hangout. You sort of start talking to yourself like that. You don't go tell everybody else they're going to talk nice to you. You don't tell your friends and you don't make a Facebook post that you have told now everyone that they're going to talk nice to you. That will make it harder. In the beginning, it is between you and you. You and you and feelings in the belly. You and you and then words you can say out loud. This happens gradually. The, the less mm, you are about a topic, the faster this can shift. I say three days because you can do that with something that you have been struggling with for a decade or more. But if this is talking about like parking spots or getting a free drink, you could probably shift this in a matter of minutes. So you get to decide, and it's smart that you do, what am I thinking about in my life? Where am I seeing me not being treated right? Where am I showing up, whether I have to or not, another topic, where am I at every day where I'm leaving feeling like, wow, people don't even love me. I'm like trash, people use me and throw me away. And if they had somebody better, they wouldn't even call me. If you have spaces like that, start thinking into those energies. I'm, I'm, I'm closing that up. I, I see now where I've been calling that in and I'm gonna just wash it away. I'm gonna wash all that away and I'm gonna start knowing that people wanna see me. People treat me kind and, and I know that. And once I know that, they'll know that. I just need five seconds of me knowing that for me. I like me, people like me, people respect me because I respect me. People wanna see me because I wanna see me. Start looking in the mirror and wanting to see you. If every time you look in the mirror, you're like this. Your inner self sees that and is going to mirror back what that means. That means in English, your energy is gonna call in something that makes your face look like that because that's what you've conjured with your energy and thought, feeling, emotion. You can look in the mirror and feel happy. You can look in the mirror and feel sad. You can think toward work and feel happy. You can think toward work and feel sad. You can go use your bathroom, like everything that we do, you can do it 
in a good space or a bad space, for the lack of better words, as an opportunity or an obstacle, best words. Everything is an opportunity. Start treating everything like a game in your mind. Soothe the human. Tell her it's okay. This was all a trick. You can think different. And the first thought is just thinking, I don't do this anymore. I don't do this anymore. I don't show for that. I don't show for that. That doesn't happen anymore. Yay me. Good for me. Glad I figured that out. 30 years later, who cares who's counting? Better late than never. Try it. Tell me how you like it and let me know.